AMD's bad quality control has resulted in broken flagship GPUs. Specifically, I'm talking about the new RX 7900 XDX card that was launched at a $1,000 price point. There was a lot of speculation the past week on why these cards have such major overheating issues. And luckily, it seems that Der Bauer has figured out that there is a problem with the vapor chamber, which is a part in the cooler assembly, and that pretty much means that AMD is gonna have to recall, redesign, and replace all the coolers on these cards and it just makes you think like did really no one just stress test these cards for like five minutes before they were packed up and sent from the factory let me know what you think amd has still not commented on what they're gonna do and please follow for more tech news so firstly again this only affects amd's own gpus not the gpus made by third parties like sapphire asus and so on so their Bauer has discovered that there is a problem with the vapor chamber design and this just brings up a whole lot of other questions about AMD. Like, were they really so busy just printing these out and just selling them as fast as possible to make some profit that they were just not tested at all? It, it just doesn't make sense. It costs a thousand bucks. It's an expensive product. So when they were assembled in the factory, were they really just packaged up straight away and just sent out like it really wouldn't take much for someone to just take these on like an open test bench and just stress test them for like five minutes and they would immediately see that something was wrong and this will obviously now just affect everyone in a very bad way because the consumers are now gonna have to either send their card or keep their broken card that's not gonna perform as intended and will probably have a shorter shelf life just because it will be overheating all the time so the consumers are going to be left without a graphics card for who knows how long that's very annoying especially if you have some work that you actually have to get done plus this is gonna cost amd a lot of money they're gonna have to pay for the shipping they're gonna have to actually get all the cards back they're gonna have to open them up they're gonna have to redesign the cooler most likely put on a new cooler a lot of labor involved very expensive stuff this just really sucks for everyone involved so i guess there's some karma involved nvidia had their own uh, power connector issues and amd sort of clowned on them and then they have this gigantic issue with their graphics card as well which is just kind of sad you know it really just shows that amd and nvidia are too busy just printing money with these graphics cards and just selling them as soon as possible uh, that they just don't spend any time or money on actually testing these things before they're actually shipped.